everyone and welcome back to my channel turn ups to tangerines and today we are going to be making um, another really simple recipe using strawberries and bananas and uh, one of my favorites and that is Philadelphia cream cheese cheesecake filling it's a no-bake filling you just uh, throw it this in a crust and uh, off you go. Let it sit in the refrigerator and top it with your favorite topping, whether that be cherries, strawberries, Cool Whip, you know, whatever, and you're you're all set. And that, you know, let it, I usually like to let it sit for a good hour, hour and a half or so. You don't have to, but I like to, so, if you're making the cheesecake. But that's my three ingredients here that I'm making here in this recipe. My three ingredient, uh, uh, salad or I guess fluff you could call it you could really call it whatever you wanted to call it it's uh, super simple what I have here in this bowl is on this side I have about oh I'd say um, four to six sliced strawberries that I cleaned and you know hauled and on this side I have two bananas that I just sliced up and you can make as much of this as you want or as little as since it's just my husband and I, we don't need a huge, uh, you know, serving of this. So that's why I have the small bowl. And then, and I'll show you the inside of this. It's real, it looks, you know, it's very creamy. I'm only gonna use half of this because I'm gonna use the other half for another recipe that I'll be using it for. And uh, so I'm only going to put um, half of this container in this with my mixture here. Spoon in. It's real nice and creamy and you don't have to do anything. It's all ready for you. You just pour some in here, throw it in there. And I like to just kind of add a little bit and then maybe add more if need be. Um, and just kind of stir it around like that. And I kind of call this strawberry banana cheesecake fluff. That's what I call it, only because it is kind of fluffy here. And if you wanted to, you could even throw in a few, oh, um, ooh, yeah, that'll taste okay. Uh, you could throw in a few, um, you know, marshmallows if you wanted to, mini marshmallows. You could even throw in, you know, coconut if you, if you like coconut. I mean, you could do a lot with this recipe. I'm kind of making a mess here, but I'm just folding this gently in here. The only thing I will say about this is this is something that you have to make and serve um, within a few hours if you're going to be bringing it anywhere. Because as everybody knows, strawberries tend to get watery. And... Um, and so do bananas, actually. Bananas tend to get kind of funny, too, if you let it sit too long. So what I recommend is if you're going to be making this for your a party or you're going to be bringing it along to something, graduation party, or you're going to make it for Easter or something like that, just make it when you either get there or right before your, your guests arrive. Because like I said, this doesn't hold up the best because of the fact that it's made with the strawberries and bananas and what's going to even be taste better is if you make this with fresh strawberries that you picked in the springtime have our our strawberry banana cheesecake fluff plated up here and like i said my advice to you would be to make this right before you're going to serve it because I can see already that it's getting a little, not watery, but it's definitely, you know, getting um, creamier. Mm. Mm -mm. So, so simple, but so good. I mean, you know, you can't make anything easier than that or simple. I mean, come on now, that's good. Look at that. Doesn't that look delicious? Yum. Oh, it's everything's going to fall off. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Wow. Mm. That is good. Mm-hmm. I mean, you really wouldn't think... I mean, I like strawberries bananas together anyway. 
Um, I never used to. Larry, but I do, as I got older, the more I did. And so this is really, really good. And if you really wanted to, you know, you could definitely make your own cheesecake filling. You could make, you know, like cream cheese and beat that up, add a little sugar and, you know, vanilla and use that also. But hey, why not just go out and buy the Philadelphia cream cheese filling and use that. You know, two minutes later, you have a nice little salad here or fluff, whatever you want to call it. You got a plate of deliciousness. Let's put it that way. This is really good. Mm-hmm. Very good. I wasn't really sure about it. I thought, well, try it. So, and I definitely like it. So here you go. That's what it looks like close up. It's very creamy. It's very cheesy. Nice. It's very nice. It's a nice... Actually, and it, you know, to be honest with you, it's a lot lighter than you think it is. You know, you, well, oh boy, everything's happening now. Yeah. You would think it would taste, be heavy, but it's a lot lighter than you, you would think. So, mm, that's good. So, there you go. You want to make something? Mm. Um that's good, light, something different. You can bring to our, like I said, Easter, graduation, anything. This would be great. Um, it would even be better if you bought, you know, use uh, fresh picked strawberries during strawberry season. That would really be good. And then ban bananas, you know, you can buy bananas anywhere. And they're still relatively cheap considering one of the few things that haven't gone sky high. So it's not that expensive. I think um, for the container of the, the cheesecake filling, I think that's under $6. And like I said, I didn't use much of it. I still have over half left to make something else with. And, you know, strawberries were $1.99, and what are bananas, 69 cents. So, you know, for under $10, you can have a pretty good, you know, strawberry, banana, cheesecake fluff. So, I hope you enjoy the recipe. Larry, I hope Larry stops barking soon. And, by the way, if you ever go to a Oshkosh North baseball game, gosh, gosh, North, baseball game, stop and say hello to the coach, his name is Bob, and he's my son, I'm very proud of him, he's really, really a good guy, so stop by and say to, hi Bob, say hi Bobby, You'll know you probably talk to me. I'm the only one that calls him Bobby. But stop by and say, hi, Bobby. I saw your mom on YouTube. And he'll probably turn, oh, he's bald. He shaves his head. So he'll probably turn about, oh, at least a shade of, uh, oh, beet red. So if you want to embarrass him a little bit, just stop by and say, hey, Bobby, I saw your mom on YouTube. She says, hi. So... Go to an Appleton, or uh, excuse me, not Appleton, Oshkosh, Oshkosh only, Oshkosh North baseball game, and say hello to my son, the coach. Bye-bye.